Welcome to Formula Drift Insider, I'm Ryan Sage. This week we review the madness that was the recent round in Vegas, and then the vehicle controversy with Tyler McQuarrie and Justin Pollock, followed by a frank discussion with Formula Drift technical manager Tony Angelo. For now, let's turn to last week's event in Sin City, where record heat and crowds played second to the crazy competition that's come to only a 51 point spread between the top five drivers heading into Irwindale. One of those drivers is Matt Powers, who started the weekend as the number one qualifier and then charged through the bracket to finish third. The battle for first place would be between Reese Millen and Darren McNamara. Reese, who has turned it on the past two rounds, was able to best DMAC in the finals and take home his first win since 2008 at the Red Bull Drifting World Championship. And here's a look at how close the battle is going into the finale. On the brink of a championship at Vegas a few years back, Darren McNamara had an engine failure and had to jump into a competitor's car to keep those championship hopes alive. And while that didn't turn out to be his year, Darren is in contention now along with his teammate Justin Pollock. Eerily, just like DMAC, JTP had a similar engine failure in Vegas last weekend, which has forced the team into some tough decisions about what to do as they continue towards the big win. We were able to catch up with Team Falcon and some others for some comments on what transpired last weekend. We had to make a pretty tough decision to try to push forward that's better off for the team and essentially doing something that's kind of unheard of. We're putting, uh, we're putting Justin in Tyler's car and Tyler's been an amazing person for doing it. You know, no one likes to be taken out of a car, but he understands that it's a race for the championship. It's tough, man. It's I've been racing since I was 14, and this is the hardest event I've ever had to deal with. You know, getting out of my car, it's hard. And seeing him out there driving with his name on the car, it's tough, man, it's tough. I would love if Tyler McCoy won the whole event today. That would just be like, just, you know, a slap in the face for everyone. Personally, I probably would have taken the engine out of Vaughn's car and put it in JTP's car. That's just me, I mean, because JTP doesn't have to learn a different car. I mean, he's driving Tyler's car, which is difficult as it is. The cars are completely different, and they're both very talented. Uh, but the easy, the path, the path of least resistance, I think, would be take the Vaughn's engine out and stick in JTP's car. I understand why everyone thinks it's a big deal, the swap between JTP and Tyler. But you know, when you're on a team and the goal is to win a championship, sometimes you have to make sacrifices, and the team manager has to make calls. You know, me personally, it was the hardest decision that I've had to make since I managed the team. You know. I'd be lying if I said I didn't lose a little bit of sleep last night. Controversy is part of the game as a judge, but as a judge and technical manager with his own history behind the wheel, Tony Angelo knows this part of the game all too well. Let's hear from Tony now about his role as a technical manager and some of the issues that he has to tackle. The technical manager position basically is to, to oversee all the technical rules from safety to basically different competitive rules uh, that uh, govern our entire sport. Every year we, we basically revise the rule book. We identify certain trends and uh, often uh, have to adjust or revise the rule book to address these things to, to sort of keep the sport uh, in the direction that we think uh, is best. But you know, I have a, a, huge, a huge respect for drifting and a huge love for drifting. I've devoted much of my life to this sport because I think it's it's really incredible and it's a beautiful thing. So being able to help Formula D in a direction that I think reflects true drifting and true driving is very gratifying. The worst part of being a technical manager is having to tell someone that their car is legal. You know, I know I was a driver, I ran my own team for a couple of years, and it's it's hard. I mean, you, these guys are deeply, deeply committed and, and to tell them, like, listen, your best just wasn't good enough. This car's either not going to run or you have to keep pushing and pull some sort of miracle out to get this thing on the track. Uh, you know, it, it's hard. It's weird because I have to hold that hard line, but I can totally relate to how emotional they get. And the thing is, is you know, I feel like these guys should be emotional. Like, on track, you're out there, you're giving it absolutely everything you have, and, and you know, you are, are doing your damnedest to win. And sometimes it doesn't happen, and, you know, I, I totally get it, but at the same time, we have to be guys on the other side of the fence that are basically sort of the authority, and it, it's tough. If people are true fans and they, they remember what judging was like four, five, six years ago, uh, I feel like they would understand that it's come sort of leaps and bounds. I feel like we've, we've progressed dramatically, not just since I was involved, but you know, with everyone's work in the last couple of years, and 
and it's, it, I feel like judging is more consistent and it's clear and it, it reflects true drifting skill. So, you know, if people don't understand that, then that's fine. I mean, I'm not here to please everyone. I, I feel like if I wasn't capable of, of helping to steer this ship, I wouldn't be doing it. And that's a wrap for this week. For a look at what's next, we give you the professional hot chick, Marcella. Thanks, Ryan. Next time we talk with everyone's favorite promo models and do an in-depth interview with last year's champion, Von Gittin Jr. As always, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and email comments or suggestions to insider at formulad.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll drift back to you.